okay hi my name is Anusha and I wasn't recording and I'm really vexed but I'm also apparently a vlogger questions that need answers for another day I first off want to say thank you to everybody who watched my last video because it's nice to be affirmed it's nice to know that medical institutions don't just fuck up a few people it's a lot of us um even though that's not a good thing I also found out from one of my friends on Instagram that that particular surgery is really bad um, when it comes to understanding chronically ill people. So it turns out that I might have to change GPs after all, which is shitty, but whatever. I've got my pain meds. I am sort of on the mend and I've had the week off. So I've had time to rejuvenate. I've had time to watch my shitty programs. I've had time to sleep until 12 in the afternoon. It's been lovely. It's been what the doctor, the uh, the good doctor, ordered. <laughs> but I will say, in true Anusha fashion, I did overthink. I did, I thought I was going to do more than I actually did, which is really annoying because the things I wanted to do were music things, but that has not been able to happen because I've just been sleeping. Um, and I've been really whacked out. It's not been fun, it's not been great, but ultimately I'm not mad at it. And I learned this from my friend Ed, aka Band Summers, aka one of the creators of a radio show called Dis, which is on a radio channel that I can't remember at this time. But yeah, you should go to check them out. Ed had a really like important talk a couple of months ago where they said that Anusha you are disabled and I said I know darling but they said you're disabled and you're a disabled musician that means the sort of the sort of um I don't want to say construct therefore it means that the kind of structure of the industry right now is to release loads of singles to appease an algorithm which is your, your streaming services they act like social media platforms so like think of it as instagram like while say if you're an influencer and they're like oh i need this amount of likes uh musicians and people you know who post on streaming platforms are like i need this amount of listens in order to be seen as legit i guess not everybody but a lot of people um so it's sort of unfortunate because when you're disabled and you have limited energy i can't do that but ed aka ban summers said yeah you can't do that do you and it was so simple and it was so like of course like the answer was right there but yeah actually I have to do me. I have to honour my body and honour my health because otherwise I'm going to make myself more sick and it means that you'll get nothing. It means I'll not be able to make anything. And it's kind of what's happened with the Bird of Music video. The Bird of Music video is almost done. I've got two more shots and I'm finished. But they have taken me so long to do. And I don't know, I originally I was like, why is this taking so long? Why am I so tired? Because Anusha, you are disabled. So I can't, you know, just brush off a video in a day. Because all that kind of up and down or whatever really fucks you over. And it is hard to sort of tell yourself, Anusha, like you're doing you ignore everybody else when everything else is so loud like because everything is online and whatever and to be quite honest i can't be that person that's like well stuff the streaming services i'm gonna go outside because what's outside anywho i say wearing a beyonce t-shirt <laughs> oh no let me not say that on the internet but um yeah it is hard, it's hard to be that person, it's hard to, um, it's, it's supposed to defy institutions, but like, I practice abolition in my personal life every day, so I guess it is just seeping into my, the, the thing I do, my work, that might help be my, my joy, sure. But I have 
always thought about like what would it be like to just create a world that is purely for you um and what i started doing is i started finding artists that were like me um and it was hard initially because there are loads of black queer artists but black queer indie artists you know you start shoving off people every so often because we all make loads of different genres um but then i came across an artist called serpent with feet um who i know is not practicing covert precautions but just in the sense of wow you really just create your own world with your songs and it's so beautiful and it's so lovely and that was a very long segue to say this video is about serpent with feet it's not going to be as descriptive as the other ones because the other videos were a pain in the ass to make so i am honoring my health and my body by just making this very casual so stick with me for four more minutes and then you can fuck off so if you don't know who Serbit with feet is they are i would say an r&b artist but they do sort of transcend genres because there is a lot of classical in there there is a lot of like soul and gospel in there um but they're an artist they're an artist that are inspired by black genres um you can hear it the way that they sing the way that they write it really feels like brandy mariah carey like that sort of really intricate songwriting that you can only get with amazing songwriters who have studied definitely like when i got into them they made a song called the morning song now fun story i made a song called the morning song and i was like going on streaming to see like if anyone else made a song called the morning song turns out quite a few um but serpents with feet song was just fucking better so i was like let me just scrap this let me humble myself um, because the song is just so intricately beautiful like there are certain bits in the song that you're just like how the fuck did you come up with that and it's almost haunting because it's not a song that you just listen to in the background it it stops you in your tracks and you're like whoa um not only just because vocally it's good vocally they've got the range but also the subject matter literally the morning song is about somebody has left them them being serpent with feet and um they are just wallowing in their sorrows and that's it the way they are able to sort of like create a bit of prosody with all the different elements of the song it's amazing um this is me geeking right now i just love that song so much serpent with feet they're very good at creating worlds with their songs but then when i started listening to the newest project like they were talking more about love and gay love and gay relationships and things like that they really like grew as an artist but it made me think like they've created their own little world with their songs they've created their own sort of they created their own sort of style more yeah sure but they've also created their own sort of soundscape they got they they were known originally for being like a sad boy artist like an artist that creates sad songs that's how i got into them because i am a sad girl uh but no they made something completely different they like defied the odds so to speak and that was also really cool like oh this is fun this is different um and this is a really long wind of, of way of me saying like hey do what you want fuck what people's expectations are of you but yeah fuck people's expectations um oh there's so much more i want to say but i want to make this a real but yeah sub up with feet someone who has been able to fuck expectations and again not in the neoliberal like wow they're gay no like they create what they want to create use the sounds that they want to use and they take inspiration from everything around them and create their art which i find really inspiring and how that relates to me anusha it it kind of allowed me to make burden in the way i wanted to make it originally it was just going to be a piano and voice song but then i was like anusha you listen to so much more i don't know like i think it like discovering artists like serpent with feet allowed me to be brave 
it allowed me to say like actually no yes i'm not going to get the same sort of gratification that you get if you sort of follow stereotypes and you follow sort of what the algorithm tells you to do um which is a conversation for another day i just said i'm going to make what i'm going to make i'm going to make it how i want to make it um and it allowed me to be honest like sort of kind of following from the fiona apple video burden is probably the most true and honest song that I've ever made and the reason why is because I don't really shy away from the topics like you kind of like the morning song yeah I talk about death really bluntly and it's because people are dying <laughs> like people are actually dying and it's not me to kind of I'm not doing the whole oh I'm exploiting people's deaths to create a career for myself unlike some people no <laughs> if you know you know i guess it's less about death and more about ableism and like how people are so ableist that they don't actually think about their disabled friends and if they died um would they actually acknowledge the part that they somewhat played in it who knows who knows try to say fuck to expectations it is very hard because the way I grew up, I definitely grew up by pulling myself up by my bootstraps. So I have to sometimes learn to put my shoes back off and throw them at the wall. Um, I shouldn't laugh at my own jokes. That's really bad. But yeah, I, I've had to teach myself how to not be a capitalist prick. But it, it is hard. It is very hard. But it's so rewarding. It's so rewarding to say, hey, I don't have to conform to any of this. So when something's done, it's just done. And I don't have the sort of guilt or the, I guess that nagging feeling at the back of your neck or whatever to say, hey, I didn't put anyone's lives in danger. I created a space that was safe i created um a song which is about healing and learning to love myself i guess um no i'm not gonna do the rupaul quote i'm not gonna do it but yeah like i learned how to love myself and not people please so that i don't cause an argument and end up putting my life in danger you know, I'm proud of myself for that. I'm proud of myself for creating a space that is just for me. Um, which means that things are slower. Which means that I don't really appease an algorithm. Because Bird has been out for a month now. And usually in that time, a music video should have come out. Which means that I've kind of missed the capitalist window. And it means that, you know, oh my god. Like, she doesn't really care about her career. She's doing it for fun. No, I'm just taking my time. So yeah, this, this video ended up being more about me than Serpent With Feet. But go listen to them. Listen to their music. Um, I've made a playlist of all the artists that I'm going to cover in this series. So please check it out. It's in the description below. Subscribe, like the video, share. Please share this video. Um, you know, because it would be nice to just reach certain people and maybe reach out subscribers am i am i doing a capitalist thing again am i doing a capitalist thing again who knows but um, <laughs> i'm kidding do whatever the fuck you want but yeah i've been a new shirt i keep shaking my table i'm so sorry guys and yeah do what you want i will catch you on the other side